Dear younger self, floss your teeth. <laughs> it turns out you will eventually be a working artist, just like you always dreamed. And a man named Stephen Harper, I live in a country called Canada, it's right above you. Um, we have a, anyway. A man named Stephen Harper will one day rule this land and he will care nothing for artists or queers or even health care. And it turns out you need your teeth and you alone will be financially responsible for them. And floss is cheaper than even your commie pinko East End lesbian dentist will be. <laughs> Dear younger self, quit smoking. Please see above. I am not going to say this again. Okay, I am. <laughs> Quit smoking right now. Your mother is worried that no one will like you or hire you or even love you if you look like that. She is wrong. This next bit is really important. Are you listening, younger self? Your mother does not mean to intentionally do you harm or cause you to fear who and what you truly are. She just worries because she fears that the, what the world might do to you and because she doesn't know any successful tattooed butch storytellers with biceps and a brush cut <laughs> yet. Yeah. <laughs> but one day she will and she is going to love the hell out of future you. Trust me on this one. Do not cave into the pressure from mainstream society to fit in. You do not and will not ever fit in. And one day you will realize you don't even want to anymore and that your difference is inherently tied to your beauty and your bravery and your giant, mystical, invisible brass balls. <laughs> you will grow to love these balls, younger self, and they will swing majestically between your ears, inside the head, you will hold up proudly. Do not cave into the pressure from the queer community to fit in either. Make your own decisions. Trust your own heart. Being butch is not just a bus stop on the highway to transitioning, except when it is. <laughs> You will learn to love your butch self. And if you ever do decide to go on testosterone, build yourself into a good man. The last thing this world needs is another misogynist prick. Be the man your father accidentally taught you to be. <laughs> even if it was only because you didn't have a brother to help him out in the shop. Make and keep long-term friendships, younger self. You are going to need them and they are gonna need you. This is actually one of the most important things you will ever do in your entire life. Whenever possible, be polite. In the long run, it turns out your good manners will serve you better than even your most righteous rage. Find a tailor. Find a tailor. <laughs> Be good to them. Get your pants hemmed properly. <laughs> I was meaning to talk to you about that, Jack. If you would, these ones are new. Anyway. Okay, good. All right. Get your pants hemmed properly and learn what it feels like to have your clothes really fit your body. People come in all shapes, but clothes do not. This is a wrong that can be easily righted. The world is going to try to f squeeze you into so many things that do not fit you, but your clothes need not be one of them. Seek out a mentor. Listen to what they have to say and then follow your own path. Keep a journal because one day someone is going to look up to you and even ask you for advice. And you are going to wish you had taken better notes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Esther Bergman. And Ivan Coyote.
from Seattle. Oh my God.